Not. Sarah, listen to me. I have listened to you. There will be no strange woman doing some sort of seance or voodoo over Alex Jr.'s bed. I will not have it. Put aside your prejudices for a moment. Take Mother and go meet her. No. There is no way I'm going to dangle that kind of carrot in front of a terminally ill 10-year-old. The boy is too fragile. Say it doesn't work, Robert. What then? We tell him that God didn't love him enough? I don't want little Alex to die. We are waiting and praying for a bone marrow transplant. Waiting and praying, waiting and praying. What about doing, God damn it? Cool down, Reba Dow. Step back, this is a family matter. I want to stand on a mountaintop and curse our, our idiotic, modern, small-mindedness, our lame, civilized methods of surviving sickness, hospitals, are the summit of human potential bull fucking shit. Are you finished? No. I'll find someone else to visit Regina for me. Who? The only reason you called me instead of Alex or Sophie or Mother is because you knew that they would need convincing. No. There is no one in our family who is going to let that strange woman into Alex Jr.'s room. You can't do this. Yes, I can. You know what I see? I see a man trying to redeem himself in the eyes of his family, making a last-ditch effort after decades of absence. See? Sometimes I have x-ray vision, too. Why? Why open this door just to close it in my face? Be healed. 